Coach by Chance by Harmony Kinlock. A coach, a dad, an educator and more are only some of the things of why I adore. A passion he has for rugby at heart, in our team he plays a big part. He creates team cultures so they are like a well-oiled machine, his coaching techniques are like something you have never seen. His commitment is not questionable at all, teaching us to wear the school colours proud and tall. Creating champions since day one, five more years until him and I are done. My name is Robert Jones, I'm a passionate Welshman uh, from Cardiff, head of PE and health. I'm at Fielding High School and I also coach girls rugby. I arrived with two bags and a single, single Welshman. Um, I've now married a Kiwi and I've got four girls. Life here is fantastic. Sport at Fielding High School is, um, they, we, we punch pretty well above our weight. Some of the key boys that have come through school here and girls really for rugby, uh, obviously the Sam Whitelock, Aaron Smith and Cody Taylor are all in the All Blacks at the moment. We've got girls who play provincial rugby, play New Zealand, play England, play Germany. Probably the first notable success for Fielding really was um, Back as a year nine girl, we had a little hockey girl come across to training one day and she, um, she said, oh, I just want to come and do some extra fitness for hockey, is that okay? And we said, yeah, 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 come along. And um, she now captains the New Zealand women's sevens team, uh, Sarah Goss. I think quite a lot of the girls really look up to the Amano, I do. Yeah, it's really cool to think that she was like us a few years ago and that she's progressed into such a, well, the NZ7's captain is pretty inspirational, I guess. We've taken rug girls rugby pretty seriously since the start of it, really. I try and set high standards for the girls in regards to what we do, our attitudes, our behaviour. I set high expectations. Yeah, they train hard, they work on individual things, they, we do fitness sessions with them, skill sessions, um, they write goals, they do homework. Um, they're a pretty focused and pretty committed team. Um, and they're all on, all on the same page and they all want to do well and they see it as a bit of a family environment, which is great. Rowena loves, she loves the girls rugby and she's 100% back in but I do get a little bit of stick sometimes at home because I'm often here or spending time with the girls or seeing, meeting them one-on-one -on -one to go through things with them or in here training or, or talking to Rowena about it at home. So um, yeah, it takes a lot of time and you know, I suppose for a wife that can be, sometime, sometimes um, I spend more time here than I should. How would you describe him with regard to his coaching of the girls? Passionate. Yeah, he's just full on. It's the often, um, girls rugby, then family, but you see the rewards of it, you know, because all the girls still come back and see us and, you know, we get invited to 21sts and all that kind of stuff, so they do become a part of your family. He loves rugby. He just loves rugby. Loves it. <laughs> I don't think our school would have the reputation for girls rugby that it has if it wasn't for Jonesy. He and his wife pretty much did start it and got it, got the culture that it has going and he is why our team is, and all the teams before us have been so successful. Today we have a big game against Manukura. I think a few of the girls are a little bit nervous. There's two teams who've gone through the season so far undefeated and that's us and them. What are the key things that we as a team want to put to Manukura today, Jana? So what do you mean by structure? Uh, it should be a good, entertaining, hard, physical game. Personal goal is commit and give 100% to my runs and tackles. Girls basically. have been planning for it for the last couple of weeks and um, they're ready to go, they're chomping at the bit. Number two, Eva. <laughs> Girls rugby, women's rugby, it is gonna play second fiddle to a lot of people and it still does and we're trying to change that. The shift is in the right direction but there are still people out there who believe where women's rugby is a minority but I think times are changing and I think getting the girls out there would be magnificent. Three, 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 five. You know, the skill level is fantastic. You talk to most people involved in the game, 
who have come from the men's and girls are much more coachable, they understand, they want to listen a lot more and they put that on the field and the quality of the women's rugby is, is outstanding. Girls, well done. Get on there, girls. Get on there. Shake hands. Hey, cheers for Hands on it. Hands on it. Hands on it. Great win. 34 0 against the top, the other top team in the competition, girls, which is great. Okay. Some impact. I want the girls to succeed, and that's not necessarily on the rugby field. Part of a big thing for us really is making better people, because better people make better players, um, and better people go on and, and succeed in whatever they choose to do. You know, we've got a lot of, obviously, we've got a lot of girls who've gone on and made international honours for rugby. We've also had a lot of girls who've gone on, um, had families, and, you know, in, in, in fantastic jobs. And I think rugby is a great way of setting them up um, for life, really. It's life skills, life experiences, leadership, you know, compassion, empathy, all of the things that are important in everyday life is important in rugby. And for me, the passion that drives me is making these kids not only better rugby players, but better people. Sisters on three, three, two, three. Sisters!